So what's up guys? In the last video we saw this on high pressures for the compressibility factor. Let's do a little exercise in that. And let's suppose that we have 100 gram moles of nitrogen. Gram moles of nitrogen. And they are contained in 5 liter volume where at this temperature. They tell you simply estimate the pressure on that cylinder. You may use PV equals NRT or whatever you want, but we're going to use the compressibility factor so you know how we can use that. So first thing first, we're going to need the critical temperature and the critical pressure of that value because we need the typical, uh, the critical, not the reduced temperature and the reduced pressure. Why? Let me show you why. In these diagrams, you need to relate PR and then you relate TR, let's say this value with this value, you have 2 TR and you have 0.5 PR and then you get to this and check out how much is the C value. We're going to do that. So let's do it. We have this here, divided by this here and this. Well, the problem is that you don't know it. So probably you were thinking that we were going to do it directly, just looking numbers and you get the chart and no we are not able to continue because we will need another equation that I didn't show you but this is very important is how to relate the ideal volume with the critical pressure and temperature so we can still find out this value and as I told you before you may find the ideal versus the real values in these dotted lines and that's what we're going to do so let me calculate this value here we have the specific volume which is 5 liters in 100 moles we have the critical pressure we have the R value which I'm going to be using liter atmosphere gram Kelvin because I have mole and liter here and atmosphere here so I don't want to change everything I think it's better to use this R constant and that temperature 126 Kelvin and I got 0 0.161 so let me go back to this graph, which is I haven't presented to you, but it's exactly the same graph, the C graph. We're going to find out TR, I calculated to be 2. My TR is 2. The VR is this one here, so let me find them. This here. This will be the TR 0.14. 0.16, yeah, it's something like this around here. Actually, you can see this is right here. This line, this dotted line, is the one that matters to me. And yeah, essentially, you will see later that if you follow this here, this line, and which we're talking about, TR2, uh, where is it? 16 with 2, two, 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 two. this 2 line is, will be something like around here. And finally, you find that, yeah, actually, this line here, this is my line on point 16, and this is my temperature, which is 2. And the point where they intercept is here. So once they intercept, let me go directly, horizontally, to this scale, and I will find out that the C value is 1.85. Now it's time to go back to calculate the P value. So you could do this right here, go check it out. Mm, you have the C value, you have the R value, you have the temperature which is 252 Kelvin, and you got the V real value which is 0 0.5, where is it? 0.5, oh sorry, right here. I actually never calculated it, I use it here, five liters, Per hundred grammoles. That's about 0 0.005 grammoles. Liter per grammole. So let me use that. 0 0.05 liter per gram. And yeah, essentially I calculated 764 atmospheres. And that will be my final pressure using the compressibility factor. <laughs>
So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.